guys, Robert Cassard, GuitarDiscoveries.com, here with shortcuts to help you play guitar, sing, record, and sound great doing it. I learned the hard way, so you don't have to. Okay, we're back to alternate guitar tunings, the instant way to shake up your playing and get some really brilliant new sounds. And today we are going to discover the ultra diverse Open G tuning. It's been used for some very different styles of music. Stick around and let's explore. Well, as far as I know, the first time Open G was recorded was when it was used by the master of the early blues, Sun House and then a few years later by Robert Johnson. Now it's also a beautiful folk tuning used by artists like Joni Mitchell in her early years. You can hear it on Nathan Lafreniere from her first album and Little Green from the classic album Blue. Now Joni plays Little Green with a capo at the fourth. My vocal range is a little lower. I'll give you a taste of it played wide open. still a little high for my range. All right, so what exactly is open G tuning and how can you tune your guitar like this? Now, one handy thing that I like about open G is you don't need to change any of your string gauges from what you use in standard tuning. You only have to retune three out of the six strings and they all tune down, not up. So there's no issue of extra stress or tension on your guitar neck. Okay, I just tuned back up to standard off camera so I can show you how to tune down to open G. Standard tuning from bottom to top is E, A, D, G, B, E. And open G is D, G, D, G, B, D. You tune your sixth string low E down a whole step to D. You can use the fourth string D as a reference. Now let's tune the fifth string a whole step down from A to G. So I'm using my third string, G, as the reference, right? There it is. And then last, we tune the high E, first string, also down to D. These are stiff tuners. And again, I'm using that fourth string D as a reference. And there it is. G. Nice. Now just a quick sidebar, this open G is actually different from the country flavored open G known as dobro tuning, which is G, B, D, G, B, D. Now in that case, these top four strings are all the same, but the bottom have to come up. So that's a topic for another video because your low E has to actually come all the way up a third to G and the low A goes up to B. So it's really best to change your sixth string to a lighter gauge, maybe even the sixth and fifth strings. That's why we're gonna save it for another time. So back to this regular open G. Now in my opinion, this tuning really shines for blues rock. Keith Richards of the Rolling Stones, he certainly didn't invent it, but I actually think of it as Keith Richards tuning. So, you know, it's the later 60s and Keith is jamming with lots of different guitarists. One of them is Ry Cooter, basically a guitar historian and a real open tunings guy. So suddenly, 1968, Keith's whole style centers on open tunings, open G in particular, and he makes it totally his own by actually getting rid of the sixth string altogether, that low D, just gets rid of it 
and he plays a Telecaster as a five string. Open G is what I think of as the Stones guitar sound, and it inspired Keith's riffs on some of their most classic songs like Honky Tonk Women, Brown Sugar, Beast of Burden, Start Me Up. So a while back when I demoed the Victory Toaster pickup for acoustic guitar, I played Brown Sugar in Open G on a funky old Espana acoustic from the early 60s. Check it out. So, as with any alternate tuning, you'll want to experiment with various hand positions to see what creates interesting chord tones. Uh, some of the hand positions you know from standard tuning become really interesting chords in open G. Um, like A minor. You can slide it up two frets. And now you're playing Beginnings by Chicago. interesting how that happens. You can take an A minor 7, slide it up two frets. That's pretty versatile. You know, open tunings can really liberate you from having to think in terms of chord names. Just find hand positions that sound good to your ear. So while I was just messing around to get ready for this video, I chanced on a beautiful way to play a G to G major 7 progression just by moving one finger from the 4th string 5th fret to the 4th string 4th fret. And I flashed on that beautiful Oscar-winning tune from the movie Midnight Cowboy, written by Fred Neal, was a huge hit for Harry Nilsson back in 1969. Everybody's talking. So here's what my version sounds like using the close voicings of Open G to kind of give it some different textures. See what you think. Everybody's talking at me Don't hear a word they're saying Only the echoes of my mind People stop and staring I can't see their faces Only the shadows of their I'm going where the sun keeps shining Through the pouring rain Going where the weather suits my clothes oh. Banking off of the northeast wind Sailing on a summer breeze Skipping over the ocean That's it, open G tuning. Give it a try, see how it inspires you. You know, what songs do you think sound good in open G? Where does it take you? You know, please tell me what you think in the comments. Tell everybody what you think in the comments. Visit guitardiscoveries.com for lots of videos to help you play guitar, sing, record, and sound great doing it. And if you like these videos, 
please do consider becoming a guitar discoverer on Patreon. It's only five bucks a month. It really helps me keep learning the hard way so you don't have to. See you next week. Mm -hmm.